Next one's from uh, Preston Sharp. Subject is Buff Bagwell versus Scott Steiner. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. My question for this week is about Scott Steiner and Buff Bagwell there, man. In 1998, Bagwell and Steiner formed a double act within the NWO, and it was awesome. Most other gimmicks were shit compared to stuff to, to stuff there, man. Buff was such a great heel. would pump need his butt right there, 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 right there. He'd be putting it on him. This is, bad. This is a very poorly constructed email. All right, let me While get... I'm telling you there, man. <laughs> wow, I'm telling you there, man. It was like a snowball. And to me, there was some great ethnic, eth- authentic, authenticity. I think it means authenticity to the angle. Both in great sheep, too. But it's, it seems sometimes like they had facial hair on their chest, man, there, man. That's literally what the, the sentence says. Man, there, man. The best double acts in Zeus and the genius. So to my question, my great good friends, word online is that early 99 Buff and Steiner started to fall out behind the scenes, leading to a backstage blow up and Steiner working really, really stiff on Bagwell and Slambury 99. I was hoping some guys could cast some light on this. I hope this week showed us 32 million downloads, HFCE for life. I do not remember. A, first of all, Steiner being really stiff with somebody is not, you know, anything new. There's nothing new. He was stiff. With everybody, we're snug with everybody. So stiff with some guys, snug, snug with snug with everybody, stiff with some. Um, but uh, let me tell you, the the, the, the Buff Bag will Scott Steiner act. I was great during a, when, we were, when we were a period of time when we were doing the ratings were not that good, you know, because WWE was, was beat was kicking our ass. Uh, but uh, and our show wasn't drawing like the other show. But whenever Steiner and Buff went out there, bro, with that, then they get on the mic. Bro, that and but and Steiner would be challenging people in the stands to fight. Bro, they would work that crowd up like that. That was heat. I mean, they were like, you know, they were like, just go back and watch some of some of their promos. There's there, there's a match. There's there's a show from you from Salt Lake City, no, from Sacramento, right? And we were doing uh, Buff and, and Steiner come out, and and Steiner called. Like, they were getting hot, right? Their, their their act was getting hot, and Steiner calls out Goldberg, and it's just, bro, that. Just go watch that. It's like 15 minutes of great television because they get and the not only that, here was a great fired up. And they, yeah, yeah. Goldberg is, comes out and they have a match where the crowd just pies. It's just good energy. They, that's what good heels bring. They energize the building because it gets people electrified and the, the, the heels they, they get heat. Then the baby face comes out and you pop. It's just good. It's just good. It's, and it's, not only that, here's a great thing about Scott because I brought him to Mexico as a heel. Okay. Oh, did you really? Yes. Oh, and, uh, and he got super over because right. Scott does what every great heel knows how to do. He embraces being a heel and he doesn't run from it. And that's how you get real heat. You can't be worried about what they're going to think. If they're going to ask you for an autograph afterwards, or if you're going to sell a t-shirt, you go out there and you get your f- heat. And I also think, and I don't know, I think that since the fans already know it's a work heels, that don't sell t-shirts, you know, there to the fans, they might get a cool mercurial aura about them and they can buy their shirts offline or something like that. You know, I think that you don't have to be buddy buddies with everybody to sell merch, but Scott, Scott Steiner, getting back to Scott Steiner, I thought he was great heel always because, and just like Buff, Buff had zero problems being a heel and being a, and that's what you got to do to be a heel, you know? And plus two, Scott, (laughs) You, you know, you talk about grab the brass, like Vince always talks about grab the brass, right. right? Well, Scott Steiner grabbed the brass ring and like punched everybody in the head with it because he would go out there, do whatever he wanted, and the office could not tell him not to do things because he just would, he would not listen. Yeah, and I think that's one of the reasons he never really got the push he it may be right. uh, expected and deserved because he was one of a kind, bro, because right. he was such a loose cannon that they, they couldn't control him. Right. And you can't you have can't. a good cannon in that spot. Right. You, you, know, you can't you imagine know. telling your world champion to show up, you know, on TV and he just doesn't show up because he was training or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was his attitude. Kind of like Brock Lesnar-ish. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't give a f- I do what I want to do. Right. And he was getting over, so what could you say? <laughs> right. Right. No, no. He's, bro, much respect to Scott. Big fan of his. 